Welcome to Project Nexus. In 2013, BYD won a small order for 10 electric buses in Long Beach, California, but the contract sparked controversy. The Los Angeles Department of Labor accused BYD of violating labor laws, leading to raids on their offices and organized protests demanding that the Chinese get out of California. Yet, a decade later, China quietly dominates 80% of the U.S. electric bus market. The 2024 Paris Olympics are now set to further change global perceptions of Chinese manufacturing. From LED stadium lights to nanotechnology wrestling mats, and from chip soccer balls to the Olympic mascot Fridgy, Chinese-made products are everywhere at the Paris Olympics. However, the most eye-catching innovation is the double-decker electric buses imported from Anhui, China. These stylish, open-top buses, offering 360 degrees panoramic views and commentary in eight languages, have become a highlight of Paris. In a country known for iconic automotive brands like Renault, Peugeot, and Citroën, why is France importing buses from China? The answer lies in the fact that Chinese buses have become the global benchmark, recognized for their exceptional cost-performance ratio and quality. Take Yutong, the global bus king, as an example. From January to May 2024, Yutong exported 4,921 buses, a 64.2% increase year-on-year. -year. Greece, Chile, and Spain purchased 250, 214, and 46 airport shuttle buses, respectively, setting export records for Yutong in Europe, Latin America, and the airport shuttle bus market. But it's not just Yutong. Chinese electric buses are accelerating their global expansion. Earlier this year, Zhongtong Bus exported 1,022 buses to Saudi Arabia, marking the largest single overseas order for Chinese buses. Meanwhile, BYD exported 500 buses to Belgium, Golden Dragon exported 270 buses to Vietnam, King Long shipped 160 buses to Pakistan, and Zhongtong sent 120 buses to Singapore, all setting new records. This explosive growth began last year. In 2023, China exported 43,515 buses, up 41.25% year-on-year, reaching a historic high. From January to May 2024, China's bus export soared to 21,828 units, a 41.99% increase, setting another record. From 2023 to the present, Yutong and Qinglong stock prices have surged by 474.45% and 270.41%, respectively, far outperforming the market. What's driving the success of Chinese buses in the global market? The Belt and Road Initiative is a key factor. For example, in May 2023, Kyrgyzstan's President Sadr Japarov visited Liaoqing in Shandong province specifically to receive the 1,000th bus manufactured by Zhongtong for Kyrgyzstan. Previously, Kyrgyzstan had purchased 120 Zhongtong buses for testing and, after being highly satisfied with the results, signed a massive order for 1,000 more. This demand was driven by the opening of the China-built New North-South Road in Kyrgyzstan, significantly boosting local public transportation. Data shows that in 2023, the core growth in China's bus exports came from BRI countries, with the CIS, Middle East, and Asia-Pacific regions contributing the most, accounting for 67% of total exports. This success is backed by Chinese bus manufacturers' strong ability to customize products to meet local needs while maintaining advanced global standards. For instance, in Egypt, Golden Dragon buses were equipped with carburetor engines and cassette players to accommodate outdated 80-octane gasoline and cassette tapes. In Pakistan, Higer designed buses with four central doors to meet cultural practices requiring gender-segregated seating. In Saudi Arabia, Ankai used cathodic electrocoating to protect buses from high temperatures and arid conditions, making it the top brand in the local market. These achievements are the result of years of accumulated experience by Chinese bus manufacturers. In 2017, when Singaporean buyers went to Europe to purchase new energy buses, they discovered that Europe was already using Chinese-made buses and ultimately decided to source their buses from China. Many customers, like those in the Philippines, 
smartly tested multiple brands before finally settling on Chinese buses. In October 2023, the Bus World Europe Expo in Brussels, the world's largest and oldest bus exhibition, became a stage for Chinese buses. From Yutong's self-developed Pure Electric YEA platform to BYD's new blade battery chassis, and King Long Golden Dragon, and Zhongtong's Pure Electric and Hydrogen Bus Solutions tailored for Europe, Chinese manufacturers showcased their full range of capabilities. Yutong's T15 e-bus even won the 2023 Bus World Design and Environmental Awards, becoming the star of the show. Europe, the birthplace of the global bus industry, is a fiercely contested market dominated by local giants like Mercedes-Benz, MAN, and Volvo. To penetrate the European market is no easy feat, as EU standards often serve as the entry standards for many other countries. For years, Europeans saw Chinese buses as synonymous with being cheap and inefficient, making market entry difficult. However, through relentless efforts, Chinese bus manufacturers like Yutong have earned recognition in Europe. For example, when Denmark launched a global tender for pure electric buses in 2018, Yutong's bid was initially dismissed as untrustworthy. But through persistent and patient lobbying, Yutong convinced Denmark to give it a try. Yutong's electric buses not only passed the test in Denmark's harsh climate, but also earned high praise from Danish drivers, ultimately securing its entry into the Danish market. Today, Yutong buses are found across the UK, France, Denmark, Norway, Iceland, and Finland. In 2022, Yutong even surpassed Mercedes-Benz and Volvo to become Europe's best-selling electric bus brand. This success is not accidental, but rather a result of Chinese bus manufacturers capitalizing on Europe's shift toward new energy vehicles. According to the EU's emission reduction timeline, the sale of fuel vehicles will be banned by 2035, and emissions will need to be reduced by 90% by 2040. Consequently, demand for new energy buses in Europe is skyrocketing, and Chinese bus manufacturers, particularly in battery technology, are leading the charge. Years ago, when choosing between ternary lithium and lithium iron phosphate batteries, Chinese manufacturers opted for LFP, which, while having a lower energy density, offers greater safety. As the energy density and fast charging capabilities of LFP batteries continue to improve, their advantages, low cost, long life, and high safety are becoming increasingly apparent, causing European manufacturers to reconsider their battery choices. Belgian industry journalist Kurt Kruger aptly pointed out that while Europe was still debating the feasibility of new technologies, China had already turned them into reality. Richard Davies, general manager of UK auto dealer Pelican, bluntly stated, Yutong's product quality rivals that of Mercedes-Benz, but at a more affordable price, and China's new energy technology is at least five to 10 years ahead of Europe. Chinese bus manufacturers one country one strategy customization model makes them hard to resist in the European market. Different countries face different climate conditions, and Yutong offers tailored solutions. In Denmark, the focus is on durability, corrosion resistance, and reliability. In Iceland, where public transportation is essential, Yutong implemented a comprehensive low-temperature solution to ensure ultra-long range. In Arctic Circle countries like Finland and Norway, Yutong's vehicles excel in waterproofing, dustproofing, and corrosion resistance. Sales figures speak for themselves. According to Dutch consultancy Shatru CME Solutions, in 2023, Chinese buses, led by Yutong, BYD, and Zhongtong, captured one-third of the European electric bus market. As the world's top-selling bus brand, Yutong has undeniably become a market leader. However, Chinese buses have made less of an impact in the U.S. market, where another Chinese giant, BYD, has taken the lead. In 2017, BYD established a super factory in Lancaster, California, earning the trust of the American market and capturing 80% of the U.S. electric bus market. Despite facing numerous challenges when entering the U.S. market, BYD's persistence paid off, earning widespread recognition. BYD has not only penetrated the U.S. high-end market, but has also successfully entered developed markets in Japan, the Netherlands, Germany, and Sweden. In these markets, BYD's products are not only selling well, but also at premium prices, 
with individual units costing millions of RMB. To some Western politicians, Chinese bus manufacturers appear as industrial juggernauts, unstoppable in the low-end market and formidable in high-end technology. This perception has fueled the China bus threat narrative, leading to calls for trade protectionism and fair competition to protect local industries. However, in reality, China is the global manufacturing accelerator. In BRI countries, Chinese bus manufacturers have boosted local industrial capabilities and helped local workers acquire new skills through the establishment of knockdown assembly plants. Meanwhile, Chinese factories have also benefited American workers. For instance, the expansion of BYD's Lancaster factory has helped reduce local unemployment and earned praise from the city's mayor. In the UK, France, the Netherlands, Hungary, and other European countries, BYD's factories are providing green energy and job opportunities while exporting China's more advanced new energy technologies. From winning orders to earning customer loyalty, from exporting products to exporting industrial skills and standards, Chinese bus manufacturers' journey to globalization reflects the broader trend of made-in-China products reaching global markets. This journey not only signifies the growth of Chinese companies, but also showcases the evolution of Chinese manufacturing into a global force, seamlessly integrating into international markets.